Aloha everyone, I'm here in sunny Maui, Hawaii, where I've spent the last couple of days checking out Qualcomm's annual Snapdragon Summit. And what a summit it has been, with plenty of big announcements that will keep everybody excited to see what Qualcomm's got in store. Of course, the big announcement this year is Snapdragon X Lite, its brand new platform for PC. Qualcomm claims that it's not only the most powerful PC processor ever, but that it'll also offer the best-in-class performance, on-device AI, and multiple days of battery life as well. Snapdragon X Elite, built on the 4 nanometer process, features Qualcomm's brand new custom Orion CPU cores. There's 12 of them in a tri-cluster arrangement, all running at 3.8 GHz with single and dual-core boosts of up to 4.3 GHz. They certainly have big claims here with Snapdragon X Elite apparently outperforming the likes of the Apple M2 and Intel Core i7-13800H, all while using less power too. I mean, just check out how confident Qualcomm CEO Cristiano Amon was when he announced Orion. Based on the announcement today, I'm very pleased to tell you that there is a new sheriff in town. The Orion CPU is the new leader on mobile computing, period. There's also a new premium integrated Adreno GPU here, capable of 4.6 teraflops of performance, with support for up to triple 4K external displays, while gaming looks to be on the cards too. Qualcomm is banking big on AI as well, with an industry-leading Qualcomm AI engine built on its improved Hexagon NPU. This gives the Snapdragon X Elite the power to run generative AI, such as large language models of up to 13 billion parameters, all on device. Other cool features include lossless audio support, an integrated always sensing ISP, Snapdragon seamless support, as well as 5G and Wi-Fi 7 wireless connectivity. Unfortunately, for those of you who want to get their hands on a Snapdragon X Elite laptop right now, Qualcomm says that their partners will only be releasing laptops powered by Snapdragon X Elite sometime mid next year. On top of Snapdragon X Elite, Qualcomm also announced the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, their next generation flagship mobile processor. Also built on the 4 nanometer process, it packs a new cryo CPU with one prime core, five performance cores, and two efficiency cores offering up to 30% faster performance than before. Its new Adreno GPU, meanwhile, is now 25% faster too, and can now support up to 240fps gaming and output up to 8K resolutions. With Adreno Frame Motion Engine 2.0, Snapdragon Game Super Resolution, and support for Unreal Engine 5 with Lumen Global Illumination. Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 was also built with AI in mind, with its own Qualcomm AI engine here supporting multi-model generative AI models with up to 10 billion parameters on device. All this is thanks to the upgraded Hexagon NPU, which they say is now 98% more powerful than before. Other new features and tools include AI-powered camera features such as video object eraser, and even a way to extend photos beyond what you shot. Qualcomm also worked with TruePic to add cryptographic seal on your photos, allowing people to tell when a photo is real and not edited or made by AI. Flagship Android smartphones powered by Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 are set to arrive in the coming weeks. In fact, by the time that you're watching this video, Xiaomi has probably already announced the Xiaomi 14 series, the first smartphones to be powered by the new processor. Lastly, we have Snapdragon Seamless a new cross-platform technology that Qualcomm hopes will fix device connectivity issues, especially when you're using stuff from various different manufacturers. Qualcomm is essentially trying to bridge Android, Windows, and other Snapdragon-powered devices together, enabling their partners to implement Snapdragon Seamless onto their devices. These devices can then discover each other easily and share information such as battery life, signal strength, and whatnot. File sharing between these devices will be as easy as dragging and dropping with the same mouse, and you can even use your smartphone with your laptop in more productive ways too. And yeah, that's been it from me here in Maui. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go eat some ahi and sip on some Mai Tais down by the beach. This has been Raymond, signing out.